Hey, Christy Mattoon here with Mind Rewire. Awesome to be here today. I have been working like crazy getting a program ready to go, um, starting over on my online subconscious healing program to train people how to do what I do. So not only are we working on your symptoms, you're learning how to do it all at the same time. Super cool, super fun. Got some great feedback from the last session. I'll be sharing that here shortly. Um, and one of the things we started talking about towards the end of it was the idea of 3D land, because you hear about that a lot. And what does that mean? How do you transcribe it into yourself for your daily life and understanding? So I thought I would talk about that for a second today. Um, but before I do, I want you to subscribe, hit the bell for lives, follow me if you're on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I greatly appreciate that. Of course, that always helps. And um, helps the flow of the traffic with our stuff when you like and subscribe it and comment that always helps too so it's how their little logarithms work so let's take a look first let's have an understanding of um, 2d land let me scoot this over here hopefully you'll be able to see it so 2d we think of like an artwork or something right all of this stuff the two dimension three dimension four dimension and it was always two dimension is something flat right you got one angle on it it's all you get if you lived in 2D land, your actions would be very flat. It would be very, very emotionless. 3D land, you get the curvature. That's where we live. We're in 3D land. You get the curve. You can see the corner. You can see the angles, but you can't quite see around it. You can't quite get to the other side. How does that transcribe into you, into actions, into awareness, into beingness, into oneness, into translation into you? How that transcribes is that when you are in 3D land, it's like it has a hold on you. It guides you. It moves you. It tells you what to do, right? Emotions, feelings, actions. It's like something's got a hold of you. Something is guiding you and giving you instruction and making you do things. And we call it all kinds of stuff from spirit guides to subconscious mind to God to the universe. And nobody's really quite sure. In 3D land, we work out of the brain predominantly. We work out of a system um, that gives you duality, that gives you yeses and nos, it gives you polarity, do's and don'ts, cans and can'ts, shoulds and shouldn'ts, like all of these kind of things. And it sends you in this cycle where you feel like you're in contention with yourself all the time. You know what I'm talking about? We talk about this a lot. That contention is the difference between your soul and your spirit. Right, The way I define the soul is your mind, will, and emotions, and your spirit is that eternal you. Your spirit is that energy sense you. Okay, The spirit is the God you. So they come into contention in 3D land. In 4D land, it's a little bit different. You can see a little bit more. In 4D land, we start to try and get a bit more aware. We try and understand more. We're trying to grasp things and move things and and use more of our senses, more of our feeling, but we haven't really got to the depth of the level where we're understanding quite where it's coming from. It's really a process of awareness. 5D land sends us totally into another realm. 5D land is really cool and interesting because it's not like you can just see the curvature or you can see a little bit more around the corner. 5D land, you can see all the way around the sphere. You can see to the other side. You can sense the top, the bottom, the sides, through the center. And it's this interesting space where you have a definite deeper range of understanding. We have a definite deeper gauge of feeling. How you get there is through feeling. You can't get there through the brain. You have to get there through the heart. And if both are in communication, if you've got the whole system lined up in communication, this is what I teach in this course, is how to do that. When it's all lined up, 5D land gets super easy. And people will look at me and be like, eh, it does. Because if you can stay in this place inside your heart all the time and live from this awareness of this feeling that equates to the higher vibration that causes manifestation that makes you feel better and heals your body. It keeps you in that 0.1 hertz that they talk about with the um, heart brain coherence. Yeah, everything changes. 5D land is interesting. I think it's a space that my shaman used to talk about all the time when I was in shaman training, where she would say one foot's on heaven and one foot's in 
in earth. One foot's on in heaven and one foot's on earth. You're like standing kind of cattywampus according to her. And what that really was, was the difference between 5D land and 3D land. It's when you can walk in both. You are on this earth, but you're not of this earth. That's 5D land. How to get there is through the heart, is to be in the heart. You can see more clearly the vision that you can have for yourself and for, for your environment around you. And no matter where you stand, how you're looking at it, you get absolute understanding. It's interesting. You see through it, around it, underneath it, on top of it, all on bottom of it, and you can do that all at the same time. And it comes to you rapidly. It makes, it makes for a whole feeling, for a beingness that feels more whole. It takes away polarity. I don't sit there wondering, can I or can't I? Should I or shouldn't I? There is none of that. I don't worry about who you are versus who I am because I know who I am and I'm okay with it. I'm beyond okay with it. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with myself and it's not egotistical. It's not in any of those kind of things. That's back in 3D land. That's how you know the difference. When you start squabbling with yourself from 2D, 3D or the polarity into 4D and you're feeling pretty good into 5D and you're like, man, I don't even have to worry about that stuff. It's just not an issue anymore. The difference is when I go back into I can's and I can'ts and those kind of things, I know I'm back in 3D land and it's a fast jump. We still live on this earth. It's still where we were created this time around. And so it's easy to fall back into that shuffle. So you want to stay in that place of your heart in order to stay in that higher level feeling in order to keep you in that 5D place, in that five dimensional space. Um, it removes negative issues and problems. It removes them. Being there removes them. You don't have to. Did you catch what I said? Being there removes the issues. You don't have to. Being there removes the issues. You don't have to. Meaning you don't have to go through the system and take out all the negative, um, negative emotions and negative junk and issues that you think are caught in your organs. Being in 5D land does it for you. Because that high vibration knocks that stuff out of the system. Yes? Are you following me? This is good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, people talk about cutting cords of energy. Guess what happens in 5D land? Your cords of energy are filled with white light and love. There is nothing else. Now, here's what happens. People will get confused because they're like, oh, well, if I can get to that place, nothing will ever go wrong. That's incorrect. That's wrong. Things will happen around you. You still live on this earth. This earth is still an earth of polarity. This earth is 3D. You can step into 5D and be on this earth, be of this plane, but not be in it. You can be here and live in a higher vibration and be in that different place and still live here. Things will happen around you, yes they will, and you will act and react differently because you feel differently because that vibration keeps you in a different state. Yes? Yes. Please comment below if you're following this. If you don't understand what I'm saying, say something and get on a call with me. This makes all the difference in the world is staying in this higher vibration. From this place, any understanding of white light, um, casting out your will becomes important. Right? A wrong, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. A wrong or bad or a negative idea can't exist. You will see it around you, but it's not in you. You will see it around you, but it's not in you. They can't occupy the same space. If you're full of white light, you can't have negativity. But you have to be in 5D land to do that. You can't do it from a 3D space. Because I can think all I want that I'm full of white light in a 3D space and have doubt and have self-sabotage and be in those kind of mindsets. And that's why it doesn't work. I gotta be in that 5D space. I have to move that vibration up as high as I can. Got it? This is so fun. Leave me a message. Comment below. Blessings and peace. See you again soon.